Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Windows 10. In this module we're going to delve a bit more into display settings. Now most aspects of display settings are handled automatically by Windows 10, but sometimes you may need to change some things. So we're going to take a look at your display settings, we're going to discuss screen resolutions, I'm going to show you how you can manage multiple displays, and I'm going to show you how you can make some text larger. So let's start out by taking a look at our display settings. Now the easiest way to get to your display settings is to right click on your desktop and right at the bottom there you have an option for display settings. So starting at the top this is where we can come to adjust the brightness and the colour of our display. So if you find that your display is either a little bit too bright for your eyes or possibly a little bit too dark, you can just move this slider up and down to make it brighter or darker. You'll also notice that you have a night light option underneath. Now if I turn this on, what you'll see is it says that this night light is off until 8.59pm, so that's basically the time that it's going to get a bit darker outside. And if I have this night light setting turned on, it makes my display slightly warmer. So it's not so harsh on my eyes when it's dark outside and I'm looking at a bright screen. So again, definitely play around with that setting and see if that's something that you like. Now, moving down these settings, you can see here that we have a scale and layout section. So this is where you can change the size of text, apps and other items. Now, in general, when it comes to the scale just here, mine's set to 125%, and you can see in brackets it says recommended. Now, I always tend to go with the recommended setting in here, but just to show you what it looks like, if I was to click this drop down and change the scale to 100%, you'll see that everything gets slightly smaller. So all of my icons on my taskbar are now smaller, and so is the text. And I actually find that a little bit too small for my eyes, so I like to keep it on the recommended setting of 125%. Again, when it comes to display resolution, I always go for the recommended setting for my device. So my recommended is 1920 by 1080, but you do have lots and lots of other options in there. So again, it really does depend on the device that you're using. And I can also choose the orientation of my display. Now, I like to have mine on landscape. If I flip it to portrait, you can see that switches my entire screen around. Now, obviously, that's not great for me at the moment, so I'm going to revert back. Now, I have seen some situations where people have desktop PCs where they can actually turn their monitor so it's in a portrait position. So if you work in that way, then changing the display orientation might be what you need to do in here. And then finally at the bottom, we have a section for multiple displays. Now I'm using a laptop here. I have one display, one screen that I'm looking at. However, I have in the past, and I know many people work with two monitors. So if I wanted to, I could plug a second monitor into my laptop and have two displays. Now you can see that when I click detect here, it tells me that it didn't detect another display because I don't currently have a second monitor plugged in. However, if I did, I'd be able to see both of those monitors listed under here, and I can choose how I want to display across those monitors. So for example, if I want what I'm seeing here extended across both, I can do that. If I want to duplicate across the monitors, so if I want what I'm seeing on this screen now to be exactly duplicated on the second monitor, I can do that as well. Now, if we look over on the right hand side, you can see we have a few other little links just here. So this sleep better area, this refers to this night light setting. And you can see it says night light can help you get to sleep by displaying warmer colors at night. Now, one thing we didn't jump into was these night light settings. So my night light is set automatically to come on when it gets dark outside. But if I wanted to, I could turn that night light on now by clicking this turn on now button. And what you'll see is that the screen gets slightly warmer in colour, which means that if you sleep in the same room as your laptop and you have your laptop open, it's a bit of a less harsh light. And also it is a lot easier on your eyes when the conditions outside are dark. 
Now underneath here you'll see you have different links which are going to take you to a web browser which will just give you a little bit more information about setting up multiple monitors, also how you can adjust the font size, change your screen brightness and fix any screen flickering as well. Now when it comes to the size of the text that you're seeing on your display, you can make some adjustments to some of the text in Windows 10. And it's worth noting that this applies to desktop applications and not any of the universal apps that you may have downloaded. So in order to demo this, I've opened up Notepad again, and I just want you to look at that title bar and just make a note of the size. Now, if I want to change the size of the text, the easiest thing for me to do is jump down to my search bar at the bottom and I'm going to say make text bigger. And you can see at the top there, it's telling me make text size bigger is in system settings. And it's actually in the ease of access area. Now, I'm going to minimize this window down a little bit so we can still see our notepad underneath. And what I can do is I can drag this little slider in order to make the text size bigger. I'm going to click on apply. And you can see now that that title bar in notepad is a lot bigger. If I adjust it again, just to make it very dramatic and click on apply, you can see how much bigger it's making that text. And it also is making the text underneath my desktop icons bigger and easier to see as well. But you'll notice that it doesn't make any of the taskbar icons or anything in that taskbar bigger, just desktop items and just these window menu systems. Now for me, that's a little bit too large. So I'm going to take that all the way back down, click on apply and everything's now set back to normal. So again, a number of different options in there related to setting up your display so that it suits you and the way you work. Definitely jump in there and go through those and change those settings accordingly. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now, to see the full seven and a half hour Windows 10 course, click over there and click over there to watch all the videos in this Windows 10 playlist.